Boys, this is always one of the two most confusing franchises I have to cover with the all-time team series. I already did one, the Charlotte Hornets way back when, but the Pelicans are the other confusing one because it's like, bruh, how many franchises have been called the Hornets in their day? Anyone? Like, like too, too many, but I think I nailed this one as I'll explain. We've got the New Orleans Pelicans whose future is stupidly bright, especially since Zion is uh, saying a bunch of good things like he's excited to be back on the court. That's what we all need. And uh, yeah, maybe we we can finally have some sustained success for this Pelicans franchise. I hope so. Okay. Okay. The Pelicans franchise history began in 2002 as the New Orleans Hornets. Those Hornets were fun, led by Baron Davis and Jamal Mashburn, would make the playoffs in consecutive seasons. After a down year in 0405, the Hornets picked Chris Paul fourth overall. Operating out of Oklahoma City post Katrina, the Hornets would see their young star win Rookie of the Year. After shifting back to New Orleans, CP3 would lead the Hornets to a 56 win season and a second round playoff appearance. The uncertainty of Chris Paul's upcoming free agency would lead to a blockbuster trade, sending CP3 to the Clippers. The Hornets would grab the first overall pick in 2012, selecting Anthony Davis from Kentucky. In 2013, they'd officially become the Pelicans, and with AD at the forefront, would make the playoffs twice in seven seasons. Davis would demand a trade in 2019 and was shipped off to the Lakers for an absolute haul, including Brandon Ingram. Also in 2019, the Pels would win the draft lottery and select Zion Williamson first overall. Fresh off a playoff appearance, in 2022, the Pelicans' future is extremely bright. And fortunately for our cause, the Pelicans, uh, although they haven't had too much success, their franchise has been dominated by four main eras that we can lay out right here. Up first, we've got the OGs, just two members of the OGs from the New Orleans Hornets. I mentioned them earlier. Aaron Davis was very successful with the Charlotte and then New Orleans Hornets. He's one of the confusing players. Played for both franchises, but yeah, he's on this team. And in the starting lineup, uh, I've got Dunk Tober, J.R. Smith. I decided to include J.R. in the OG era because he played one season pre-CP3 and then, well, he played one with them. But either way, I'm excited to use his J.R., baby. And as you probably could have guessed, our next era is the Chris Paul CP3 era, led by the man himself, Chris Paul. Not sure how many minutes our boy's going to get because it's so hard to use small guards at this point. But yeah, CP3, the first legitimate great in franchise history. Played alongside David West together, they were both all-stars and very effective. And the third man here, Paige Stoyakovic, who was on the 2008 Pelicans. Well, they were the Hornets at that time. And that team took the Spurs to seven games in round two. They actually had them up 3-2 in the series. Bruh, if Chris Paul had been able to get over... I Man, probably would have lost to Boston eventually, but it would have been good. Whatever you say. Not too long after the CP3 era ended, uh, the Pelicans, well, they were the Hornets when they drafted Mr. Anthony Davis. This is a Lakers version, I know, but I had to use an endgame AD. Like, are you serious? M maybe they should have made him a Pelicans version, but that's neither here nor there. He was drafted as a Hornet, then they became the Pelicans. One of the two times he made the playoffs was with Drew Holiday and tow, who dominated Damian Lillard. Remember in that playoff series back in... Uh, uh, 2018, I want to say. Yes, it was 2018. I just double checked. That was the season they also picked up Demarcus Cousins, who looked so good. And then he freaking tore or blew out his Achilles. Super disappointing, man. That was like a really unique team with Drew, AD, and Demarcus. And then, of course, injuries had to ruin things. But our final era, the last, uh, what is that? One, two, three, five spots in our lineup. Well, it goes to the current slash future of the Pelicans franchise. Unfortunately for Pelicans fans, and quite honestly for me, who's going to have to play this game, our future era of the Pels is not very stacked. We do have this metamorphosis Zion, who I'm pretty sure is kind of outdated, but makes sense. He didn't play this year. He didn't deserve a new card. We've got alongside him Herb Jones, who became a defensive stalwart this year, was really great in the playoffs, got a moments card, but only a pink diamond. Starting at point guard, we've got Dyson Daniels, aka the vacuum cleaner. That's that's not good. A Dyson, a six foot eight Australian point guard, mate. I'm sorry if that was offensive, but the Pelicans used the Lakers pick on Dyson. You know, the Lakers who missed the playoffs and didn't have their first round pick. Oh yeah, we do. We all hate you. Off our bench, we've got Trey Murphy. This card was an absolute legend when it dropped. Had to include him. And Brandon Ingram, who has two better versions of cards in the game, neither of which I could get my hands on because they're both rewards cards that I didn't grind for at the time. That's 
not super frustrating. But altogether, it is the all-time Pelicans team, not the best team I've seen by any stretch of the imagination, but we have some big guards. We have some pretty good shooting bigs. You know, th th this team has potential, I guess. But we'll call it that and see how it goes. Oh yeah, I decided to go with the throwback New Orleans Hornets jerseys. We've got two end games. We've got five end games. Okay. Oh, and might I add, Taco Fall Yao Ming in the starting lineup. What a shocker, bro. I'm going to get zero rebounds, but hey, at least I know it right off the bat. I have no idea what this Dyson Daniels card is about, but we've got, uh, that was an open look for Herb Jones that I did not take. Dyson though on the face. Perfect. <laughs> Bro, every card in the game can hit a fadeaway three. What else do I need to know? Oh, he's forcing up a terrible shot. Yo, maybe my opponent is trash at the game. Anybody can get a good team nowadays. Doesn't mean he's good or anything. So, oh yeah, Zion. Good miss. I meant to do that. Yeah. I, bro. Okay, I didn't mean to miss the shot, but as soon as I threw it up, I knew AD would be on the glass. Let's get it. I'm praying so hard that this is an opponent who went out, bought an endgame lineup, but is bad at the game. I'm praying, bro. JR? Oh, oh, I'm gonna keep running that play until he shows me he can stop it. I'm trying to abuse this play. Simple as that, cousin. Oh, yeah. That was weird. That was weird. They delayed me so much on that jumper, but it sucked his player in for free throws or, or a foul. <laughs> this play is becoming so repetitive and I love it. Oh, give me that steal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I saw my player uh, behind the break. So I brought another player over. I'm saying player because I don't know which players it was, I'm JR. <laughs> Yo, this JR has a weird load up on his jumper, but so far I've greened it twice and I'm up by nine and I'm very happy. Nothing can make me feel bad right now. Nothing. Oh, you trying to run a play? Nah, nah, nah. We oh, I was there. I was there. Y you are really, he's trying to run a play on me. Nah, nah, nah. You, you, yo, JR, JR, you beauty. Uh, Herb Jones, Herb Jones for the win. Uh, chill, chill, Herb, chill. Oh, JR is open again. I should have just called this team. I should have made a J.R. Smith era. Obviously, he carried CP3 in his second season. Simple as that. Simple as that. Oh, AD. Yo, my opponent's trash. Simple as that. We love it. We love to see it. We love to see it, Herb Jones. He didn't get blocked. I don't care how short this video is. My team unlimited is so sweaty at this point in the year. Everybody's running with M games. If I can destroy an opponent like this, I will do it. And I will post a five minute video. Chris, my guy, I don't even need you to do much. I just need you to pass the ball to J.R. Smith on our signature play where he is wide open again. Where he is, well, not wide open, slightly open, and he banged it. You know, a two, it counts. Let me bring a quick double team. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. Co oh, what are you doing? Oh, good take charge. Good. <laughs> Yo, I, I hit the circle button so late there. Chris Paul, that's his dirty gameplay at work. Let's see it, A-Dizzle. Let's see it. End game AD. I'm going to stop. I'm going to pop. Oh, yeah. Bro, every time I have an end game, I'll be honest, I never use them properly. And the proper way is to just shoot threes over people because it's impossible to... <laughs> Yo, let me stop talking. Pager just about had his life ruined, but he missed the dunk. Did Giannis... Abe's two for two. Yeah. Yeah. This game, she's over. She's, she, she's over. Oh, one quarter. I really don't want to risk loading into another game. Oh no. All right. I didn't want to do a Pelicans fans dirty. So let's play a clutch time game. I've got CP, JR, of course. I had to keep Anthony Davis in here. And for the future, we will use Trey Murphy and uh, yeah, we'll keep Zion in there. Why not? Let's see if I could take a W in clutch time. Please don't bring down my positive vibes. Oh yeah. Let's go. Yo, Anthony Davis has won two tip offs this game i'm just i'm just saying that's pretty impressive let's go ad can you shoot over ralph sampson yes sir yeah i think you can I, I missed that one but it's all good the problem is i never have a strategy in this game uh in this game mode in clutch time uh and i still i still don't zion on the fade Perfect. okay all right bit outdated but zion can still do that if i can't play defense which i which i can't really do right now just means i can't have empty possessions I cannot green with Zion Williamson, but he keeps making shots. Hoard up, hoard up. Okay, we out, we out, J.R. Smith. Trey Murphy, yes, yes, yes. Amethyst Trey Murphy, budget god. He'll forever be remembered from this game, and he's still hitting shots out here. D Zion, play defense, bro, just step up. Zion trying to play zero type of defense. All good as long as you keep scoring. Big fat, you got blocked. Say you goodnight, Oh, mother. and AD got blocked. I wasn't even trying to put that up. And he went ahead and snatched block me. Oh, you hate to see it. Okay, it's time. I have tied this game up a minute left. This is a good clutch time game. This is this is what we came here for. Oof, I need to start getting stops. Though. Or honestly, like a four-pointer. Neither of us has, have hit a four-pointer yet. Yeah. What just... Oh, <laughs> I was about to get blocked on a four. Instead, I get free throws. Sure. 
Get over here. Big steal. Yes. Yes. Wow. That surprised me. Uh, chill. I'm so out of control right here. Everybody relax. Everybody relax, Trey Murphy. You're doing too much dribbling. <laughs> Trey. I timed that steal with AD perfectly. It still shocked me. Oh, wow. And I was so out of control there. Okay. Just no threes. No threes. I know. I know he just wants Luca on a three. <gasps> Zion grabbed that. Dude, you had it. It's all good. It's all good. I am in control now. I am in control. I got a two for one upcoming. I've got AD with space. End game AD. I got to use him like that. Come on. Let's just keep him off. The I could foul. Take the coward's way out. But now nah, let's just defend. Yeah, let's just bring a double team. Get out of here, Luca. Get that, that's a two. He shot a two on accident. Oh, I got bailed. I got bailed by Ralph Sampson. Not having any IQ, baby. No, 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 I fumbled the bag. Bruh, after Ralph Sampson fumbled the bag, how did I lose him on the inbounds, LeBron? Oh yeah, it's gotta be JR, it's gotta be JR, it's gotta be JR. Fate? That's space. Oh my word, that was a good look. Okay, first basket wins now. Nah, nah, I ain't losing this. No, now AD loses a tip off. Are you kidding me? Oh no, oh no, oh no. I left him wide open. My bad, my bad. No, 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 no. I don't really know what's happening. My team intentionally fouled, which was very helpful. Okay. Help me. Help oh, me. Oh my word, JR, you idiot. You <laughs> Well, that was a bad beat. J.R. Smith just decided to stop playing defense. I guess I low-key should have expected him to do something dumb in the clutch. I mean, we've all seen it a time or two before. Stay off the weed.